What is going on? All right, girls. So what we're gonna do is we're going to work on practicing a strength movement, right? And having a test retest. So anytime we're trying to um, figure out, am I getting better, right? We wanna have a test and a retest, assess, reassess. And what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at the push-up. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna find out where we are with our push-up. Can we do one? How hard is that one? Can I do more than one? Am I, is the quality of the motion great? Am I maintaining my positions? So what you wanna do is you wanna first test, can I do a push-up? Hands and knees, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna go to a good plank, I'm gonna lower myself, chest touches ground, I'm gonna drive myself back up. Now, did I do one? Great. If I can do more than one, could I have done two or three or four? And if I, let's just say I did two and on the third one, I couldn't do it. So I did two and a half, failed on three. Now let's say that I couldn't do one at all, but I could control myself all the way down. And then when I went to push, nothing happened. Or if something did happen, I broke my plank. So I was like rolling or switching left and right. I'm gonna note that because when we retest in four weeks, we wanna see does that quality of movement increase or does the quality and quantity increase, which is a direct sign of strength. The way we're gonna work on this, and we've done this before with many students, is we're gonna do something called grease the groove. So grease the groove is a concept talking about the frequency of an exercise, not the intensity of an exercise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find a hike that you can do six high quality push-ups from. Then we're gonna practice three reps, three times a day, six days a week. So if I can do six push-ups on the ground, well then I'll do three push-ups on the ground three times a day. But let's say I can't do a push-up. I'm gonna find a variation of the push-up I can do by six. And that's gonna mean I'm gonna take away some gravity by elevating my body. From the mid box, if I can do Six reps of high quality, great. Let's say I do that and it's like four. I'm gonna note that. I'm gonna find a higher elevation. Oh yeah, I could do six. Man, I could probably even do eight reps. I could do eight reps from this variation. Good. So that means you would do four reps three times a day because that's half. So it's working at 50%. The way this works is you create a large volume of work. So say that you can do, in theory, 10 push-ups. Well, we would be doing ourselves a disservice if I were to max out 10 push-ups every day. Over seven days or six days, that's 60 push-ups. But if I can do five push-ups three times a day, six days a week, quick math, 15 times six, six, 30, 90, right? So you have upwards of 60 push-ups. So to see how you get more work doing less, but doing it more frequently, that's how we're gonna get stronger in our push-up. So it's really important to find your height for your six, note that, and note your single, or how hard that was from the ground first. And then when you get to the end of the program, we'll get back on the ground. We're gonna knock out 17,000 or so push-ups, and that's how much stronger we'll be.